It's impossible to talk about the HP Prime calculators without talking about how fast they really are. Because these things are really, really fast. They are indeed the fastest graphing calculators you can find on the market today. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and see uh, what you get. So on my left hand side is uh, the first gen, first revision. And on my right is uh, revision D, which is uh, generation 2. Let me just go ahead and show you the specs really quick. Man, D, and here is going to be revision A. Okay, and uh, the revision A first uh, came out, or the first gen first came out in 2013, and uh, at that time it was a compet uh, competitor to uh, the TI Inspired CX CAS, which had been out since uh, 2011, I believe. And uh, the Inspire released uh, the second generation of uh, their uh, CX CAS, which is called CX CX2 CAS, and uh, this first gen that came out in, tw in 2013. Is a lot faster than uh, the TI Inspire CX2 cast that came out in 2019. So yeah, just to tell you like how incredible fast, how incredibly fast these uh, HP primes are. And uh, generation two here or revision D is even faster than the first gen by uh, I would say by 30%. Uh, nah, that came out wrong. About three times faster. <laughs> Okay, it's about two to th three times faster. That's uh, that's uh, what I came out to uh, to find out. Let's see. Let's just go to home and do some uh, some summation. This thing can do pretty much everything, and uh, that's whatever you want to know about this calculator. Just uh, you can ask questions in the comment section. Okay, we're just gonna do some uh, summations. Okay, uh, just for fun. Uh, let's do uh. Let's do uh, okay. Let's do five x square mm, and everything over x and let's do thirty thousand here and let's see here. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, should I put this on the stack? Let me just pause the video really quick because I don't want this video to be too long. Okay, now let's go and hit enter on both of them and see uh, which one uh, is going to speed out the results first. Okay, yeah, the second generation already has it. Almost instant, about one second or two. And uh, it took uh, about maybe five more seconds for the first gen revision A to get it. So yeah, as you can see, it's about two to three times faster. And uh, one thing I don't like about the first revision and even the second revision sometimes does it is when they encounter like a really big operation they just tend to uh reset themselves they just uh, restart just, just restarts and just uh, erase the last thing you put on the stack that's kind of an, really annoying but yeah just so you know let me see if i can uh uh demonstrate that on the camera but before let's do another operation okay check this out actually uh, a problem like this might uh, might make uh, the uh, uh, first gen crash, but we'll see. Let me pause it. Oh no, I, never, I don't even need to pause it. Okay, the uh, second one already has it, and uh, the first gen is still thinking about it. Still thinking about it. Sometimes it gives me the answer. Sometimes it just crash and it restarts but it's my first time trying this operation anyways so yeah uh like i said i don't i don't, I don't want to make this video any longer but you get the idea of how fast uh, the gen, gen 2 is compared to uh, the first gen and by the way uh the revision a and revision c are literally the same speed because they they essentially have uh, the same processor same processor the only difference is uh the keyboard color and uh this revision c also has a uh, uh wireless capability but beside that you also uh, revision c also uh, has the ability to have data streamer but uh the first uh, revision doesn't have that so that's the only those are the only differences uh you will find between the revision e and c, i mean revisions a and c okay